Recently, we turned Spooderman into a movie trailer, and a lot of people really liked it. So we wondered, what if we made a whole action film surrounding the idea of Spooderman saving the current state of the MCU? So we started to film a bunch of cool fight scenes at our favorite location, but this location isn't quite as cool as Spooderman himself. Wait, who's talking? Because if we're doing Spooderman, we need something huge and awesome. So to get these scenes to look as crazy and badass as possible, we pulled out the green screen so that we could just make it look cool and post. Hey, so how long should I tell the brand before we post the video? Two weeks. Easy. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So for the green screen, I set up a massive shot list of all the shots that we were going to need to get. Because if I drew storyboards, no one would be able to understand them. Yeah, and you thought the merch was a creative choice, huh? I'm trying my best. Please buy it. Uh, this is about as good as I can- Anyways, for the first scene, I wanted Spooderman and Doctor Strange to be chasing after a wand held by none other than the perfect villain ever, Spooder Strange. After we shot the green screen, I jumped into Blender, where I would need a big digital location with floating rocks and crazy clouds so that I could set up a cool drone shot for the intro. And the running looked a little... So to work around this, we need 3D models of our characters. To do this, we would stand still in the default human pose while someone else watches and takes pictures. Then, we send those pictures to a random database that analyzes them and gives us a very scarily identical model of the person. Because that's exactly how I look without the filters. Yeah. Now that we've done my digital makeup, I can stop feeling insecure about my appearance, and we can go ahead and add it into the shot. Remember, only one more week for the video. Easy. Six days later. How much longer until the video is done? It's gonna be like another two weeks. We told the spots in two weeks, two weeks ago! Ah! Okay, now that we have twice as much time, we can add twice as much effects. So we got a couple more shots of our hero, Spooderman, and that also means that we can add some more 3D locations. So for the main scene, I decided we could basically make a more catastro ca a more catastrophic version of the real location. So we need to take more pictures, but this time, instead of scanning default humans, we're scanning default nature. And we got this beautiful mush. But luckily, we don't have to do makeup on this guy, because since it's out of focus and in the background, then it shouldn't get insecure about its big nasty bush. For this scene, I also added a big monster in the background made up of a bunch of Marvel characters' limbs and heads. And I even added a single PNG of John Walker. So go ahead and try and find it in the full video. I dare you. The scene could also use a lot more chaos and a little bit more floating stuff, so... Yo, are we gonna miss a deadline again? How many times do I have to tell you? Wait, how many days are left? Three days. Okay, this scene should be good enough, so let's just move on to the last one. I wanted to make it look a little different from the previous scene for plot reasons, but you'll have to see for yourself after watching the rest of this video. Anyways, since we're running out of time, this scene needs to be done quick, so I'm gonna need to get into the ultimate edit mode to power through this shot list. Okay, for the last step, we need to add in some cool sound effects and music to make this video seem a little less... <gasps> lame. Sound is often overlooked because it's not an actual visual. For example... <laughs> now let's play that back with sound and music. <laughs> yeah, once the sounds are in the video, it becomes a whole different beast. And now, the video is pretty much done. And it only took 14 days longer than the original two weeks. Ah, not bad if I say so myself. Anyways, here's the result. Spooty! We have to stop Spooter Strange! Well, we're not going to show you the whole video here, so if you want to see the full thing, check it out on Laugh Over Life. See you in the next one.